Once upon a time, here was the land of the dragons. When the legendary hero Jason and the Argonauts stole the Golden Fleece from King Aetis, in a bid to escape the king's army, they flew across the Black Sea and Danube River and entered the Ljubljanica River. The winter had set in, so they were forced to settle on the banks of the river. Little did the army know that they had invaded a dragon's lair. One night the dragon burned down the camp, killing half of the army. Seeking revenge, Jason and Medea found a sleeping dragon in its den and tied the dragon's mouth with a heavy chain. When the beast woke up, it was unable to breathe fire, the flames collected in his belly and the creature burst into a huge ball of fire. It was, they say, the first time this land saw fireworks. Another legend tells a dragon was threatening to destroy the nearby village if it didn't get six virgins every year. One year it was the turn of the beautiful Marietica to be sacrificed. Saint George, the girl's lover, rushed to the mountain on a white horse and killed the beast with his sword. May it be the legend of Saint George or may it be the legend of the Argonauts, uh, this is the dragon uh, which uh, was killed by Jason or by Saint George. And there is another nice legend uh, which says that every time a virgin crosses this bridge, the dragons are moving their tails. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. The bridge, constructed in 1901, is regarded as the most beautiful bridge produced by the Vienna Secession. Ljubljana is a cozy little town. It has 300,000 friendly and joyful inhabitants, which are very proud that the city is so ecological that the water from the spring fountains in the city is drinkable. Truth is, Ljubljana was European green capital in 2016. Cum se numește? Ljubljana. Încă o dată. <laughs> Cum se pronunță? Nu știu cum se pronunță, că de fiecare dată râs de mine așa. Hai, Hai. Mai încearcă o dată. Nu. Ljubljana. Ljubljana. Bravo, dragă. Ljubljana. Bravo. The vibe of the town is awesome, like a happy combination of Balkan spirit and Western influence. top of the castle you can see maybe as far as the borders of the country.
prinde mă recimă. Pornești tu vloggerul ăla de la sare, zahăr și piper, îmi dai un autograf, îmi dai un autograf, îmi dai un autograf. Honey, I think you're in the wrong country. A first strudel is a traditional dish from a country far in north. It's not just with apple, it's also with cheese. It's something new. Oh, it's apple cheese strudel. Mm -hmm. may be surprised, but the legend of the dragons isn't over. The baby dragons exist even today, and the cave where the dragons den was can be visited, and there's exactly where we are heading. The Peștera Postoina has been visited even from the ancient times, and the oldest inscription on the walls of the Peștera is dated from the year 1210. Let's go inside. Austria's Emperor Francis I visited the cave in 1819, making it to a world-known touristic attraction. In the second part of the 19th century, when the cave was first opened uh, for the public, the wagons were pushed by the guide. Amazing! Imagine you're sitting in a wagon and the guide pushes you and tells you about the history of the cave. Only uh, at the beginning of the 20th century they introduced steam uh, locomotives uh, which uh, pulled the wagons and after World War II the whole thing was electrified. Eu nu știu, mă, peștera asta nu e pentru vloggeri. E clar că la un moment dat o să o pocnesc de ăsta la chestie. Capul jos, capul jos, capul jos. Ei, ei, ui, ui, ui. The temperature is constantly 10 degrees centigrade all over the year, which in, in summer it's very nice and in winter it's also very nice because it's uh, warmer than outside. The cave's first guide was Luca Cech, who also discovered a lot of new galleries that can be visited today. These days, Postoina is one of the world's most visited caves, with over 1 million tourists every year. Electric lighting was added in 1884, preceding even Ljubljana. During Second World War, the Nazis used the cave to store nearly 1,000 barrels of aircraft fuel, which were destroyed in 1944 by Slovene partisans. The fire burned for seven days, destroying a large section of the cave and blackening the entrance. Even today, the ceiling is black. Stoina Cave was carved by the Pivka River over millions of years. A lot of stalactites, stalagmites and limestone curtains make a magic world out of the former dragon's den. Until this day there have been explored 24 kilometers of galleries, of which only 5 kilometers can be visited. I 
știu de ce, orică n-am mai ieșit de mult într-o excursie, orică e foarte frumoasă peștera, dar îmi dă energia ta de pozitivă încât nu mai ce să fac, sunt foarte fericită. Postoina is also famous because of an animal as strange as important, the olm. Hundreds of years ago, after heavy rains, baby dragon-like creatures washed up the ground. They looked like little lizards with flesh-colored skin and no eyes. The locals were convinced this was baby of the underground living dragons. The olm was described for the first time in 1689 by Johann von Balvazor and it is a very important species. It was even used by Charles Darwin as an example of the reduction of structures through disuse. Olms are amphibians, can live for over 100 years and can survive more than 10 years without any food. Just when we thought we got rid of dragons and legends, a few kilometers away from the cave, it's the place of another mysterious story. Prediama is the Guinness World Record holder for the largest cave castle in the world and, according to Ghost Hunters International, it is confirmed to be haunted. Legend goes that once this castle belonged to the knight Erazem, which was a sort of local Robin Hood, except that he didn't uh, steal from the rich to give it to the poor, but he uh, stealed from the rich for his own purpose. He had a lot of enemies and these enemies gathered in an army and besieged this castle, but the knight had an underground uh, uh, corridor to the cave, um, to the other part of the mountain, so he could uh, gather everything he needed, food and rings. So a year went by and his enemies were very surprised why the knights didn't starve out. At the end of the story, a servant of the knight betrayed his master and his enemies found out uh, the exact moment when the knight was uh, at this little toilet and shoot a cannonball, uh, granting the knight a very unhonorable death. It was built in the 13th century and the legendary Erazem was only one of the many owners of the castle. Today you can visit the castle and, between May and September, visitors are also allowed inside the cave under the castle. Thank you. Stai pe toaletă, citezi iarul, mă rog, în secolul XV nu era ziar. Deci acolo nu, nu avea Instagram. Știi? Și Aici se uita, tot. Se uita pe geam, știi? Înțelegi de ce era Insta Story instant. In the Middle Ages, if you have been a burglar or if they simply just had something with you, you could be hanged here and left for days or worse, you could have been judged and thrown away on this door outside some hundred feet down. But what do we have here? The master bedroom. I think this part of the vlog will only available 18 plus. One cannonball of this size hit this little lavatory where the unfortunate knight was just washing himself. Apparently a piece of the wall fell over him, burying him alive. Alexandra, who did you marry? Fiatem ce-mi plac pantofice, ce sandale aveau nevul mediu. 
Every July, on the field in front of the building, a medieval tournament takes place, where knights in armors are trying to fire cannonballs against a small lavatory where Erzem was killed. <laughs> Kidding, it's just a tournament, there are no cannons. In this castle and on these cliffs filmed uh, in 1986 the famous movie star Jackie Chan his film The Armor of God and remarkably to say he did his own stunts. As small Slovenia is, as many wonderful places it has. In the next episode we will check out the most visited place of the country, Lake Bled, where we will try to find out the truth behind the legends. We will then descend underground into the huge and scary canyon of the Scotian cave, to come eventually back to the surface with the kayaks on Socha River arguably the most beautiful mountain river in the whole world, due to its unique turquoise color. The Slovene Adriatic coast is only approximately 40 kilometers long, but it won't stop us to explore the romantic ports with Venetian vibe. And because our car got too hot from the burning sun, we decided to park it for a while on the bottom of the sea. Thank you for watching and for following us on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. It's a privilege to have you beside us in our travels. See you soon!